Okay, this is just a uh, quick video, just a little bit about the construction of the tank. Um, sort of, that's the uh, top end obviously. I'll just come down the bottom here. Okay, uh, I've got it on this brick stand which has got sort of um, runs that go through from front to rear along the tank but there's still actually open space underneath there so what we've done is we've uh, laid in this here which is a bit of um, that one there is probably a uh, 6x2 bit of timber and that one there is a 3 by, oh, 4 by 2 sorry and 3 by 2 here and that's sort of laid in down that way so that basically gives a nice firm base then it's got the uh, the 17 mil or 18 odd mil ply board running through here um, which obviously creates the internal base of the tank and then that's then got this next bit of 4 by 2 which uh, obviously helps tie that together uh, and then we've run these beams of uh, 3 by 2 uh, sort of down there and across the back here and what they do is they stop these straight braces that go up from pushing out uh, and they're sort of secured down. You can see the screws there and those screws penetrate down uh, into this section here and then there's a screw in this section that penetrates down through the two of these and sort of helps to tie it all together and then as you can see here each of these ones are screwed here and the ply board set in from the other side and then that was screwed onto these uprights um, and then as you can see the corners we did here like this uh, the top is a repeat, sort of the way it's been done. Uh, the reason for that was to obviously be able to tie it down from the top and from sort of ends and so not to basically allow the thing to pull itself apart with the water pressure that's inside it. Um, it's uh, exactly three metres long in the length at the back um, and it's exactly uh, 1.2 metres from front to rear um, on the ends and it's in height uh, from the bottom obviously to, uh, to about there as I think is uh, almost uh, 90 mil or almost a metre um, which you could find that on my sort of uh, website or on Monster Fish Keepers there's a, a thread there which has got all the details uh, as you can see the water level with the uh, two pumps from the filters makes it sit about 60, 70 mil down from the top uh, and I calculate out it's probably about 2,000 litres. Um, basically here we just drilled out the uh, ply board before we coated it uh, to put the bulkheads through and they're made of a number of sections. It was just the way I had to buy them to get the distance away from here so I could get the uprights without being right up hard against there. Um, and then that's got the blue coating goes inside those holes as well and what I tried originally was just using the rubber gaskets that come with them uh, but I found I needed to actually silicon them in as well so did that and then plumber's tape in the threads on all these black units uh, at this stage I've been lucky I haven't had to actually glue any of the uh, white PVC piping so I haven't mainly because that way I figure if I do want to pull it apart to change it uh, then I can. Um, one thing I'm sort of thinking of is maybe changing this here to a system which another guy's done on the Monster Fish Keepers uh, forum and actually have this drop out into a bucket uh, and then he's got his wool in the bucket and then that flows out through from there. Um, so that's basically the way the tank's done. These cross braces go across and they're there obviously just to top the thing from spreading out or bowing uh, and then if you can see it I've coated the underneath of those with the blue so that, and then I've actually silicon which obviously you won't be able to see uh, a bead in where the seam is so that way if water is up, splashed up underneath it doesn't get between the timber in any way uh, and the same has been done on each of these they haven't got the blue underneath but they're only small ones and I sort of think I can always replace them if they look like they're going rotten or anything like that which I don't think they will but we'll see how they go over years to come uh, so that's basically the basic construction the inside coat I ended up putting about two or three of the blue coats on uh, a bit more than I needed to but I figure well it doesn't hurt if I'm going to spend the money might as well sort of do it right the first time should get longer life out of the coating is my sort of idea it'll be a lot stronger uh, which in the long term should mean uh, a long tank for many many years to come so there you go, you can obviously have a look at any of the uh, videos that I've done sort of of the fish themselves to get an idea of the front 
uh, the front I've just literally the wall's been cut out and it's just been filled in and replastered and repainted so but there's no structural uh, use of uh, the house walls in any way for the tank um, and all the uh, these uh, batten screws that were used were just galvanised which are outdoor use. Uh, there was probably 100 mil, 75 mil and 150 mil ones or 200 mils that I've used. Um, tried not to go too close together because obviously split the timber and all I'd say is make sure you pre-drill them all so that way again no way of, uh, of um, splitting the timber when you're putting it together and uh, that way obviously it's less pressure which obviously you have more than enough pressure from the water inside the tank um, the only thing I sort of think now is I should have gone deeper um, I should have probably ended up sort of at least another 30 centimetres higher probably I sort of keep saying that I'm going to just add that onto the top and glue it up and but uh, I don't know I don't think that'll happen at this stage so uh, there you go so uh, that's hopefully a little bit there um, anything you want to find just go to uh, the uh, Monster Fish Keepers forums go into the DIY section and uh, mine's underneath uh, 10 foot by 4 foot by 2.5 foot monster tank uh, and my tag on the internet obviously is Noismo uh, thanks very much. See you later.